Hello and thank you for watching this video. Well, I wanted to make a very quick video. It is about um, how to set up a transmitter with a QRC. Basically, it's going to be uh, just what I have um, as my setup, so I cannot provide any more information about any other. So this is going to be focused on the RX2 SIM uh, wireless um, transmitter. It is a USB adapter that um, you can attach any receiver. I have it attached with a DSMX satellite receiver. And um, I have a Spectrum DX6 radio. That is the one that is connected to the RX2 SIM. So first you have to make sure that you set up your radio. Um, basically create a brand new setup. Leave all the defaults. Bind to your uh, Spectrum satellite receiver. And then you're all set. So on our QRC, you just go to the transmitter option. First, you have to make sure, well, it'll go into this transmitters um, option first. Go into your device and make sure that everything is correctly configured. So I have a game controller, a spectrum of uh, preset of spectrum and a device, as you can see, the RX2 SIM. And that basically set up everything. So it allows me to, as you can see, channel six is my collective pitch and my throttle. Um, my aileron here is my channel one. My elevator is my channel two and my router is my channel 3. So once you have everything set up and um, properly working on the directions that it should be, if not, you can reverse here your, your channel. Okay. Then um, go to the functions. And on the functions, you will see everything that accuracy allows you to map. It allows you to map the different... Uh, RPMs if you want, so you can set up different um, IU1, IU2, IU3, you can set up throw hold, uh, you can change dual rates, I mean depends how many channels you have. Since I only have a six channel radio, I only basically use throttle hold. So as you can see, right now the RPM selected is RPM3, I'm using channel 4. So in channel 4, basically you just have to move these little sliders, okay? depending on where, you know, what's the range of, of, of the value that you see. So in here, if I go to throttle hold, then you'll see that this little, this little marker will go to this position. So in channel four, that means that it's going to this value. So this is the whole range between zero to 100. So if you, if I swap it out, then it'll change value. And because I have the sliders here selected when this little marker is there. So whenever the radio sends a signal of what, like zero, this should be zero throttle. Then you just move the sliders to make sure that you grab that that position where it is. And you will see that the whole the whole row highlights. So it highlights in green if it's selected. So this means that throttle hold will be enabled. And, you know, whenever I don't, um, it goes to 100 because that's that's how I set it. So it'll go uh, straight to RPM3. If you have more channels on your radio, you can set up more here and you can, you can select which channel you want to use for each of the functions. And after that, you know, it's just a matter of making sure that you test everything out. So as you can see, I move my pitch up, down, my rotor left, right, my elevator up, down, and my aileron left, right, and um, on the little buttons on the right window, you will see that the hold is uh, green, which means that it's enabled. So I can switch it, and you will see that my hold is no longer enabled on RPM3, is now enabled. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope, hope it helps. Um, there's another video out there on YouTube, well actually uh, a playlist of videos by Adrian Chipman Law, which is one of the main people that helps on AQRC. Also make sure to give them uh, a view. They also show you know different brands of uh, transmitters and other types of connections. Uh, this is my only setup, so this is the only video that I can make. So I hope you enjoy it, I hope it helps. And be sure to leave any comments. Um, also, you know, I have a presence on Helifreak. 
So make sure that um, you, if you have any questions, you can PM me there and I'll do my best to help. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.